our block what do you think is russia's iran's next step do you think they will fall for the intimidation it's not intimidation they're being attacked and russia iran it's like it's like having a little shit shithead just go hey fight come on fight fight me fight me because they got another big guy have you have you guys ever been to clubs and bars and stuff like this in canada we had a lot of them it's not the big guys you got to worry about if there's fights and stuff like this it's the little fuckers right it's small man syndrome it's always a little fucker that starts fights or the shitty ass girlfriend of some big guy that wants his man to beat someone up that she starts a fight trust me there are a lot of them right so israel right now is a little fucker going hey come on fight me fight me right because United States is standing behind it. Canada was standing behind it. They're they're out. UK is standing there. UK is a fucking. They're fucking what sixty thousand military. They're they're putting ships in ports and uh, like their navy's fucking annihilated. It is fucking ridiculous, right? So it's really just the United States of America, right? And United States right now is saying, okay, mad dog, little little shit, come here. I've had to have little talks with little friends that wanted to start a fight. Pull them over. Pull them to the side and go, look, oh, fuck. I'm not going to fucking get into a fight with you over this. Stop it. You're drunk. Fuck. Leave. All right? So the United States has to do that with Israel. Right? And it's the little shits. So Israel's going, bam, bam, trying to slap people. Right? Bam, 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 bam. And what they got is a suicide vest on. Because Israel's saying, hey, if you don't let us commit genocide, we're going to use nukes. So that's like a suicide vest. So Israel, best example would be little man syndrome, little shithead, racist, fucking supremacist that has a suicide vest on. And they're coming along and saying, I'm going to kill these, these, these kids, right? These women, these children. I'm going to take over people's homes. And if you guys don't let me to do, I'm going to blow myself up. Not only that, I got a big guy over here that's going to blow you up, right? And Russia and Iran and China just sort of going okay man this, this guy's a fucking little nuts right um we'll let him get away with shit for now because well we don't want the world to blow up because this guy's dumb enough to think that that's a viable solution and they're fucking psychopath enough to do it right all we need to do is let them go so far where where that guy behind that's backing them up the big guy that big guy goes okay i'm out then we'll fuck it over right then you just fucking pounce on it fucking annihilate it right take make sure the family of that person doesn't feel the blunt of what what's about to happen to them right the zionists right make sure jews don't feel the blunt of what's happening because this isn't anything on jews this is zionists doing this right and neocons doing this so Israel has to be dealt with in a way where it's not annihilated and Jews are allowed to live in peace with Christians, with Muslims, with atheists, doesn't make a difference, in peace in that region, right? So it's, a, it's like a fucking very fine surgical operation going on and one false move, right, will kill the host and the doctors, right? So the world has to treat Israel with a fine fucking thinnest, finest fucking, what do you call it? Exact, not an exacto knife, but surgical equipment that there is because the world has allowed Israel to think it's okay to turn into a Zionist supremacist state and do whatever the fuck they want to other human beings. We are at fault because we allowed these supremacist racist to go this far right fine uh, it's a fine thing that needs to happen really it's very dangerous very dangerous ryan on rumble israel wants to take over everything from the nile to the tigris yeah yeah the levant right the levant 